have received a box today. This is from Electron. Let me open it up and see what's inside. On the box, it shows Electron. It says it's a NEMA 515 plug, and it's a level one 15 amp portable EV charger. Got the picture of the device on the front. Got some info on the side, compatible with J1772. It has 1.8 kilowatts rated power. It is portable with a carry case and it's built with rugged materials. On the back, we have some more information saying that it's a 15 amp portable EV charger case, 15 amps rated current, 120 volts, frequency 50, 60 Hertz, power 1.8 kilowatts, cable length 16 feet or five meters, has a NEMA 515 plug, as I mentioned before, J1772 connector, and the dimensions are 8.1 by 3.2 by 1.6, or 208 by 82 by 42.3 millimeters. The weight is 5.3 pounds, 2.4 kilograms. Operating temperatures are from negative 22 Fahrenheit to plus 122 Fahrenheit, or minus 30 C to plus 50 C and it's made from polycarbonate and ABS plastic. Here's the website, ev-electron.com. And there's a QR code for more information. Let's open it up and check it out. First of all, we see the case. The case itself has two straps, electron on the side, seems fairly durable, a zipper on the front. Open that all the way and I'll pull out the contents. Uh, let's see what else is in, oh, there's a little manual here first. Let's take a look at that. We have safety precautions. We have what's included. We have how to install. We have LED indicators, which I'll show on the device. This is very important, LED status. This shows all the different LED status codes, the colors and what they mean. For charging your vehicle, shows plugging it into a NEMA 515 outlet. One thing that's very important when plugging into an outlet is that this EVSE is the only thing that's on the circuit because if you use the full amount of the amperage on it, you will get roughly about 12 amps out of the 15 total. If there's anything else on the circuit, you may have an issue where you may have uh, flip a circuit breaker or cause problems. So make sure it's the only thing that is running. Then it also says that the power and connected lights will light up and stay solid, which means that the charger is receiving AC power and is ready for use. And then I'll show all the rest of the instructions when I connect it to the car. Next section is troubleshooting. If you have any issues with it and also the last page talks about the specs, which pretty much uh, matches everything that I mentioned on the box cover. Uh, the only thing I see here that is additional, it says control box water resistance is IP65 rating. And then the charging handle water resistance is a type 3R. Also follows the standards of UL 2594, UL 2251 and SAE J1772 UL 2231. All right, let's take a closer look at the EVSE. 
Here's the main control box, very compact size. And on the back, it gives you all the information and all the codes for the LEDs, which is handy. So if you lose your user manual, you still have everything right here. On the back, there's also a little opening here where you can hang this up on the wall. If you have, for example, a screw in drywall, you can then place this on it and it'll stay in place. At this end here, we have the NEMA 515 plug. Fairly long cable here. And the rest of the charging cable is right here looped up. We have a Velcro tie strap here to keep it all attached and it has a loop on it so you can always you reuse it again when you store it on the end here we have for shipping a bubble wrap which i will remove and that keeps it all nice and scratch free during the delivery process here's a close-up of the j1772 handle it says Electron. We have a fairly robust build quality here. We have a, this is metal. So a nice metal. I'm guessing this is most likely aluminum for the lock switch right here. Let's see what it says on this side. Give some information on the manufacturer listing a 16 amp 240 volt ac rating and that's about it on the end we have an attached dust cover or water cover which is nice because i've seen some evses that just have the caps and when you take them off you may lose them so this is very nice and that is the end of the j1772 plug that will go into the car Overall, pretty nice feel to it. There's a reinforced area here where the cable enters into the handle. And let's see if I can get a close up of the cable itself. All right, so we have UL rated type EVE. Give some more information. There we go. All right, so that's the cable. So this makes a good emergency charging setup or traveling setup if you're going on a trip and you're staying at say, for example, in a house like an Airbnb or a place where you can charge up that has just regular NEMA 515 plugs, you can charge here and charge up your car. Let's take a measurement of the cable. From the box to the plug area here is about 13 inches. And next I'll measure the total length of the charge cable. The total length of the cable from the box to the handle is 16 feet 6 inches. So let's see how this works with my Fisker Ocean. All right, here is the EVSE, and I have the plug right here, and we'll put that into the outlet. And now we can see that the power LED is lit up. There's a protective plastic on this, I'll remove. Standing right next to my Fisker Ocean, we will open the charge port cover. We will take the Electron handle and insert it into the J1772 connector. The car flashes green for the LED showing that it's connecting 
and it is charging. Let me go inside the car right now and look at the display. I'm getting about 0.5 kilowatts right now. Now that the Fisker Ocean is charging, let's go back to the EVSC main unit here. As we saw before, the power LED is lit. Now we see a connect LED also lit up and a charging LED is flashing. Below that is error. If you did have an error, that would probably be flashing. Hopefully you will never see that occur. And let's let the Fisker Ocean charge up and see how it works. I'm getting roughly 0.7 kilowatts right now. It is about 45% state of charge, and it is gonna charge up to about 80%, and the indicator shows about 20 hours remaining. So we're getting roughly 12 amps out of the 15, that times 120 volts gets us the kilowatts that we need. There are some line losses in charging, so the number in the car is going to be less than what the actual EVSE can provide. That's simply due to losses in charging. That's to be expected and normal. I notice the kilowatt rating is inching up to 0.8. Maybe over time, if I let this go a little bit longer, it'll get even higher. By the way, the Cable diameter is 0.58 inches or 14.8 millimeters. After several minutes of charging, the kilowatts have increased. I'm seeing it oscillating between 1.1 and 1.2 kilowatts out of a total of 1.4. So that's actually not too bad. And you can see that the hours remaining is still listed. This is the sound that it makes when charging starts. Then you see a charging started notification on the driver's screen. When the car finishes charging, listen to the sound. Then there's a message that charging is complete on the driver's screen. Charging is now complete. See the flashing light here. We can remove the handle press down on the metal lever right here, then pull it out, place the dust cover protective cap back on, and we are done charging. Close the charge port door. The power LED is lit, everything else is off. Then we can disconnect it from the outlet and place it in the storage bag. I'll show you where I'm gonna put it in the car. Here I coiled up the cable and then I can place it in the bag and zip it closed. We can put this in the very front area here. This is small enough to fit right there. Here's another example. This time on the other side of my garage, I have the Electron 120 volt EVSC connected to the outlet here. And power is showing on it. Let's go to the car. And this time we're gonna charge my Tesla Model 3. Take the cap off and then just insert the J1772 to Tesla adapter in. Open up the charge port and insert. Note that it is green and now the car is charging. Let's go inside. All right, so you can see that we are charging.
Tesla rounds the kilowatts most likely from the 1.4 down to 1. And we're showing 116 volts, 12 amps. Going back to the EVSE, we see that the power LED is on, connect LED is on, and charging is flashing. When done charging, simply press the button and then pull it out of the charge port. Then if you wish, you can remove the adapter and you're all set. By the way, here's an example of me mounting the EVSE base onto my slat wall. I have a modified hook here and I just place the EVSE, the opening, and then press it down and it stays in place. It's always a good idea to support the EVSE so that the pigtail does not get stressed when it's plugged into the outlet. And now for the storage, place the EVSE in the bag, zip it up, and then place it in the cargo area. One place I like to place it is in the subfloor. Plenty of room under there. And that's a good location for your emergency EVSE. Well, that wraps up my unboxing and overview of the Electron 120 volt EVSE provides a level one connection to the car, uses a NEMA 515 plug, which is pretty much universally found. And out of that 15 amp plug, you get about 12 amps net to the car, a super compact body, a 16 and a half foot long cable, and a high quality handle and plug where you have a metal latch, which gives me good confidence that this will last a long time. There's also a dust and moisture cover over the ends to protect the inside. If you're interested in this item, I have links in the video description. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.